Finally tonight, we want to show you something pretty remarkable and pretty adorable happening at an orphanage in Amsterdam. It's been inundated with hundreds of newborn babies separated from their mothers. And tonight, there is a major effort underway to nurse them back to health and help them reunite with their families. Here's NBC's Duncan Golastani. Warm and safe, these seals are the lucky ones. They were found stranded on the Dutch coast after stormy weather. So many pups have washed up, they're calling this rehabilitation centre an orphanage. Wrenched from there, some pups still had umbilical cords attached. At least now they're being cared for in the tents put up especially to cope with the huge numbers. The director explains high water levels mean the seals can't find sandbanks to rest on. Normally it's around 150. And now we have 365 even. And today there were another seven, so we will go up to the 400. At mealtime, every helping hand is needed to make sure the seals eat their herring, not just to rebuild strength, but also to give vital medicine that fights against worm infections. We need to find the feeding list. Marine biologist Tori Utney from Boston is one of the volunteers working around the clock, nurturing the seals back to health. I thought I would come here and volunteer sometimes, get some hands-on experience with them and help with the lungworm patients. Good, good, good. The seals are unlikely victims of the storms that have been battering Europe. Almost 60 pups have been injured in Britain alone. <coughs> Barnacle and Topaz were washed against shore three months ago. Just a few days old, they were bashed against rocks and desperately underweight. Now they're strong and ready for the wild. They've been tube fed uh, and then onto assist feeding and then through to where they're self feeding. Back in the Netherlands, they're hoping for similar success. The early signs are these washed-up seals have an excellent chance of survival. Duncan Golastani, NBC News, London.